So we begin with that uh, breaking news. An Ethiopian Airlines jet with 157 people on board has crashed. The Boeing 737 MAX 8 took off from the capital Addis Ababa, bound for Nairobi in Kenya. It came down near the town of Bishoftu in eastern Ethiopia. Ethiopia's Prime Minister has tweeted his condolences for the 149 passengers and eight crew on board uh, in a message to families. He wrote, The office of the Prime Minister on behalf of the government and people of Ethiopia would like to express its deepest condolences to the families of those that have lost their loved ones on Ethiopian Airlines Boeing 737 on regular scheduled flight to Nairobi, Kenya uh, this morning. Let's get uh, more from Al Jazeera's Catherine Soy, who's on the line now from uh, Nairobi. Uh, we understand, Catherine, that this aircraft took off from uh, Addis at 8.38 uh, a.m. local time. What else do we know? Catherine, can you hear me? Al Jazeera's Catherine Soy should be on the line. Uh, she isn't. I think we can uh, we can talk to Alex Macheras, uh, who's uh, an aviation analyst uh, who is joining us now via Skype uh, from uh, Malaga in Spain. Alex, good to have you with us. Um, ETAVJ, this aircraft, it was a Boeing uh, 737 MAX 8. Am I right in thinking that that's the same kind of aircraft that crashed uh, back in October, uh, the Lion Air uh, crash in Indonesia? Good afternoon. Yes, sadly, this is now looking to be the second most major, most fatal incident for Boeing 737 MAX. So the 737 MAX is the brand new updated version of the Boeing 737. The MAX itself is in service all around the world. Um, airlines include Norwegian, Air Italy, Ethiopian, who are a member of Star Alliance. And airlines such as Ethiopian Airlines are using this aircraft as it's the latest, the most fuel-efficient, short-range Boeing aircraft on the market. This aircraft that has been involved in the accident today is less than four months old. It was delivered to Ethiopia in mid-November. It flew from the US. It made a fuel stop in Ireland and was delivered to Addis Ababa, which is the airport that is Ethiopian Airlines' hub. And they really do use this airport as a hub to channel passengers through it and then to distribute them elsewhere on that route network. The 737 uh, MAX, Alex, was, uh, was Boeing's answer to Airbus's, uh, what, A320, uh, or it, uh, the new version, more fuel-efficient of the, of the uh, version of the A320. Um, after the, the Lion Air crash, uh, a Lion Air crash in Indonesia, the Airline Pilots Association of, uh, of the US uh, told US safety regulators that the union was cons concerned about a, a potential significant aviation system safety deficiency in the Boeing 737 MAX aircraft. Um, what's wrong with it? I think we should be careful there because ultimately new aircraft do have their hiccups. Now, that's not to say that they are unsafe or that they are more prone to being involved in an accident, but there are certain advisories for lots of new aircraft, and that's perfectly normal as they enter the marketplace. Um, to pick up on what you said, the Boeing 737 MAX was kind of initiated in response to Airbus's A320neo, so that's the new engine option. Both of these aircraft, including the 737 MAX, these are typical, traditional Boeing 737 designs with modifications to make the aircraft more fuel efficient. So it's a new aircraft based upon one of Boeing's best sellers, the 737, which is in service all around the world. And if you have ever flown short haul, then I guarantee you've probably flown on a 737. It's a popular choice of the airlines. It's a very safe aircraft. But of course, there are now questions, and this will send jitters across the industry, as this is a brand new aircraft that has now been its most second fatal accident in the space of less than five months. The first one, of course, was the Lion Air 7 uh, that was just in October, late October. I, I suppose one of the things that makes this aircraft so attractive uh, for, for airlines is that, that, that if they've already got a, a 737s in their fleet, this brand new version of it, even though it has new systems in it, um, doesn't require the pilots to undergo 
uh, e expensive training courses in order to, to be able to fly it. In theory, they could just relatively simply go from, from one version, the older version of the 737, to this new version. Absolutely. And this is what Boeing specialized with, with the 737 MAX. Commonality is key. And so there are, real, there are no real significant changes when flight crew are converting from the existing 737 to flying the 737 MAX. There is a very short involved. And for this reason, it's very economical for the airlines. But again, this is very normal. Airbus do exactly the same. They all want to focus on commonality. Ultimately, it helps that bottom line financially. But to bring things back to Ethiopian Airlines, they have taken an array of new aircraft. And what's important for their airline and for this airline specifically is that they need aircraft that they know can be proven to work very reliably from Addis Ababa Airport, which is ultimately on the scale of things very hot and very high in temperate, in, in altitude. So when I met with the CEO of Ethiopian Airlines in China in September, he was explaining to me that not all aircraft available on the marketplace was an option to Ethiopian because not all of them could demonstrate their reliability from an airport such as Addis Ababa, which ultimately in altitude is significantly higher than where on landing from across the world. So for this reason, this airport is quite specific in its needs and, and requirements from airlines. And, and uh, very, from brief, very briefly, uh, um, Alex, Lion Air had uh, the, the Indonesian airline that had this brand new uh, Boeing 737 MAX that, that crashed back in October had, um, uh, let's say, a, a questionable reputation as far as uh, maintenance and, and safety was concerned. That doesn't apply to Ethiopia, does it? Because, I mean, they have, as you say, this, this brand new fleet uh, and, they, and they look after those aircraft very well. Ethiopian Airlines are an extremely safe airline. There should be no doubt airline are in the aircraft at this point until we find out further further information. But Ethiopian Airlines, in terms of Africa, are one of the best airlines on the continent. Alex, many thanks indeed. Alex Macheras there, uh, our aviation analyst. Let's uh, hear now from Al Jazeera's Catherine Soy, who is uh, on the line <clears throat> from Nairobi. Uh, Catherine, we were talking just a few minutes ago about that... Um, now, that statement made by Ethiopia's uh, Prime Minister. Tell us more. Uh, yes, uh, we started by seeing this uh, tweet by the uh, Prime Minister's office, the Ethiopia Prime Minister's office, offering condolences uh, to relatives of passengers who are on uh, board that flight. And then um, the airline itself has issued a statement um, saying that search and rescue operations are going on. They haven't given a number of any casualties. They say to soon for that, and they have given details of uh, what happened. And this flight took off at uh, at 8:38 a.m. local time from Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, and they lost contact at around 8:44. That's uh, uh, six minutes uh, after. That's when um, the air, the aircraft dropped from the radar. Um, at the, around the southeastern town of Bishofsu, um, 149 passengers, as you mentioned, and eight crew on board. Um, the airline saying that a passenger information center is being set up and uh, uh, at the stress line as well, where uh, relatives who are trying to find out what has happened uh, to their loved ones are supposed to get in touch with that line just to find out what's going on and to be updated about what's going on in this uh, search and rescue operation. All right, Catherine, many thanks indeed. Catherine Soy reporting uh, live there from uh, Nairobi. Just to, uh, to recap then, uh, Ethiopian Airlines flight number ET302 with uh, 157 people on board, that's uh, eight crew and 149 passengers, has crashed uh, shortly after taking off from Addis Ababa bound uh, for Nairobi in Kenya. The aircraft uh, registration number ETAVG uh, was uh, a Boeing 737 MAX 8 delivered in November last year. Uh, it is the same aircraft, the same type of aircraft uh, that uh, crashed in October, uh, the Lion Air uh, 737 MAX 8 crash uh, off Indonesia in October last year. More details on that, uh, that breaking news as and when we get it here on Al Jazeera.